Hi, my name is Jared, and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. This video is part of our technical support tips and tricks video series. This video covers how to ensure that SolidWorks PCB users in a server client installation configuration have the appropriate Windows permissions on the SolidWorks PCB services folder necessary for proper use of the software and ECAD MCAD collaboration. In order to ensure these permissions are set, navigate to your C drive, Program Data, which is a hidden folder by Windows default. However, it can be made visible by going to your folder options within the control panel. Within Program Data, navigate to SolidWorks. And at the SolidWorks PCB Services folder level, right click Properties. Once the Properties window is up, you can navigate to the Security tab. And in the top section, you'll see a list of group and user names. You can select the given users or group. And once doing so, you will see what permissions that user or group has. You can use the Edit button to modify these permissions. We recommend that users have read-write permissions or full control. Read write would be the minimum. Full control would give those users or groups full control on the Windows permissions level for that folder location. Once you've set the appropriate permissions, select OK in order to apply them. And users should be good to go as far as their Windows permissions on the SolidWorks PCB services folder. I hope this video has been helpful outlining how to ensure that the SOLIDWORKS PCB users in a server client installation configuration have the appropriate Windows permissions on the SOLIDWORKS PCB services folder necessary for proper use of the software and ECAD MCAD collaboration. Thank you for watching and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material.